so select and repeat protocol is also like uh, go back and and we have but uh, we very few uh, <coughs> hello tools then next protocol is select and repeat protocol in this protocol it's quite opposite to the go back and and uh, here uh, let us see those characteristics first here in this select and repeat protocol receiver will receive out of order packets also simply like uh, <coughs> in go back end it will receive always the packets in in order only it never receives the packet in out of order but in this case though packets not in in order it will receive the packet currently so <coughs> then the second thing is we will see this one very clearly in the uh, in the examples So now now the second thing is it is give the acknowledgement for each packet like independent acknowledgement it will give for each packet so but whenever it is possible it is going to give piggy backing acknowledgement means it is using the piggy backing concept so let us see what actually the selective repeat protocol <coughs> assume this is the sender and this is the receiver so here assume that we are using the three bits for sequence numbers we are assume we are using three bits for sequence numbers so means 0 to 7 sequence number total eight sequence numbers are possible 2 raised to 3 so eight sequence numbers are possible those sequence numbers are 0 to 7 so <coughs> this is the window size 0 1 to 7 <coughs> this is sended the packets 0 1 assume second packet is lost but it is sended all the packets the from the current window so this is the sequence number 7 so all the packets it is sended so whenever it will receive the packets it is going to receive packets in this order right zero any order it can receive 3 1 4 5 7 6 but say packet number say second say 2 is not received to the destination because it is lost in between so now it is going to be sort these packets sort these packets basing on the sequence number so 0 1 3 4 5 6 7 so what it will do is it will find out the, the if it is any sequence number is missed in between so here second packet is missed so now it is giving acknowledgement for each packet acknowledgement 1 means it is the acknowledgement for packet 0 which have the sequence number 0 and uh, acknowledgement 2 this is the acknowledgement for packet 1 now it is going to give negative acknowledgement for 2 means the packet sequence number 2 which our packet is sended earlier that packet is not received the destination or that packet may be corrupted both the cases it will give the negative acknowledgement as 2 like this it will give acknowledgement for all the packets for the seventh packet acknowledgement is as zero sequence number means it is it is received the seventh packet without any loss and it is expecting the next packet as a sequence number zero so whenever it will receive the sequence number 2 it is going to identify in this set that see packet 2 it is sending only that packet sequence number 2 packet in the go back and it is going to be send the all the packets from that sequence number onwards but in this case it is not sending the remaining window from that sequence number it is going to send only that particular packet whichever is lost or corrupted so that it came to known by acknowledgement it is negative acknowledgement so if you observe in this case this is the lost data packet case so if you observe here 
whenever packets is received it is receiving the packets in out of order so it needs to be sort all these packets so in the receiver side it need sorting technique then if you come to the uh, sender side whenever it will receive the negative acknowledgement it need to be find out that particular packet in this window that particular sequence number packet in this window means here it need searching technique so in the receiver side it need the sorting technique in the sender side it needs searching techniques this is the one of the problem it is facing in the selective repeat